Ja. 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 We hit a hundred subscribers. <laughs> Party. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I am so happy and grateful for each and every one of you that subscribed to my channel. Um, if you are new here, Hello, my name is Mahala Undergachu. I'm an Ethiopian American artist here on YouTube and I make art videos. So, for those of y'all who have subscribed, you should subscribe if you're new. Get more of this energy to your way. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Thank you so, 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 so much for your love and um, your support to me on my channel. I know I'm still uh, pretty much a newbie at this YouTube stuff, but we're growing and that's all that matters, right? <laughs> so I wanted to do a little special video for 100 subscribers for my little community of people and I wanted to do a Q&A video. So I asked questions on my Instagram handle at Kimma Miles if you would like to participate in the next Q&A in the future and just follow to see some more of my art. Feel free to do that you're welcome here um so i asked you guys what any questions any inquiries any anything that you want to know about me and i'm going to answer that in this video and while i'm chatting it up with you guys i'm going to have some footage of me uh sketching and doodling in my sketchbooks i just wanted it to be very chill i literally had no idea what i was drawing most of the time <laughs> and i actually i actually recorded myself talking while i was sketching but i literally could not even speak like <laughs> i realized how terrible i am at multitasking like at any form of drawing i literally cannot i can't draw and talk at the same time so it was just like me saying one word per hour like <laughs> it was not good <laughs> so i was like you know let me record this in a more coherent state of mind and i'll just put the sketching footage in real time so it's a very chill video very chatty video of course as you can tell by the title and yeah all right let's get into it i love y'all so much thank you <laughs> all righty first question from the lovely brie lanson what is a piece of art that you're super proud of great question brie thank you <laughs> so probably the one that i am most proud of um as of now would have to be probably my queen of the night painting that i did i'll put a photo of it here um i don't know why just something about that painting just makes me very happy and it was my first time really like painting darker skin tones and getting that beauty the glow the highlights there and i feel like that was more you know i was discovering more of my style what i like to include having sparkles and little bits and bobs everywhere and yeah it was just very fun to paint and also at that time i was trying to not rely on outside sources for inspiration and i like i literally had my computer turned off i had my phone turned off everything was gone and i was like i'm going to create stuff without having to rely on outside things and so and that ended up being my favorite piece that i've done uh in a while so yeah would you look at that how crazy that works <laughs> So yeah, that is the piece of art that I'm very proud of. If you're interested in purchasing, it's on my Etsy shop. <laughs> Check it out. Link in bio. All right. Thank you for the question, Brie. Next question is, I'm reading off my computer over here. From snail.jpg, favorite band slash music artist. So that is a tough question because as y'all can probably tell, I have very all over the place music taste. I literally listen to like every genre of music except for country. Some country music does slap though, I will admit. But the main genres of music I listen to are like hip hop, R&B, um, indie, pop, funk, 80s, uh, K-pop, all of the above. Also right now, I'm really loving the group Tennis. I highly recommend if you want like very groovy, very chill music to listen to. Oof, their music is so good. It is so good. Um, I want to go to their concert so badly once COVID is over. <laughs> oh, yeah, their music is very, very delicious. That's a good adjective. Delicious. <laughs> and also, I'm listening to a lot to Young Baby Tate. Um, 
y'all should check her out because she's on the up and up and her music just makes you feel like a bad bitch and just makes you feel like you're on top of the world you are powerful and yeah i really have been loving her music too um of all time i would definitely have to say bts and tame impala those are my main my main my main ones <laughs> yeah thank you for the question next question is from the lovely jasper k's how are you connecting to your culture during quarantine that is a good question that's a very that's a very good question <laughs> um i would say the main thing i've been trying to do to stay connected so as you guys probably know from the intro and everything i am um have ethiopian background so my culture involves ethiopia and all that good stuff my parents i'm second generation um from my parents is that how it's what it's called i don't know but uh so the main thing i've been trying to do is get back into learning my like the language of ethiopia which is amharic or uh, amarinya and it's a struggle i will say because i used to know so well i used to be so fluent any um say i'm sure most second generation people will children will understand the struggle where you understand it pretty well but you cannot speak for shit like that's literally me that's me right there i can't i can't speak i can only say like um yeah <laughs> that's like literally it um but i recently been trying to do like every saturday do lessons with my mom and it really makes me just feel better and more confident about my connection to my culture and also my main thing i've been trying to do with my art is make it surrounding like my main goal is to have the main is is to have the aesthetic of like my ethiopian culture or different parts of culture mixed with like surrealism and fantasy kind of stuff i'm still working on that i don't i don't i'm trying to figure out what kind of balance i like um and so yeah that's also what i'm trying to what uh, wow am I, I cannot speak today <laughs> that's also what i've been trying to do as well so thank you for the question that's a very good question next question is from gray glues how has art changed your life <gasps> <laughs> I would say art has given me the channel to express myself in any way that I want to. Like I, there's another question that addresses this, so I won't get too much into it. Art really changed my life. Like I feel like I would not have met any of the people that I know now, like my best friends, my classmates, my professors and advisors and all of them. I wouldn't have met them, of course, if I had never discovered the arts, so I never really got into it that much and i don't know it just really has allowed me to um be more open-minded to different types of people as well because of course usually in the arts people are more expressive us artists are usually more open with like sexuality orientation illnesses trauma all that kind of stuff so it's definitely allowed me to have um a more a more uh, a more well-rounded perspective on life and how to perceive other people yep Thank you for the question. The next question from Equilibrium. What is your favorite creation you have made? Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> so I'm gonna include my prop stuff into this. And I would say probably my favorite piece I've made is my shield project from high school. <laughs> I'm sure some people will be like, oh my gosh, she hasn't made anything better than from high school. But this project was like, my blood sweat and tears and i feel like it's still something i'm super proud of that i did um it's junior year of high school for a uh props project at my school if you guys check out my portfolio video you'll see that in more detail but yeah i just i really love how it turned out and it just like challenged me so much in a good way and i learned so many things that i um what's it called that i can use on my own skills to build my own skills and such and also i feel like that really enhanced my portfolio to get into uncsa so it's like it has a very special place in my heart next question from what even the hell how do you feel about my 
next question from natalie dc dot art what are you studying in college so i am studying uh stage properties in the design and production program at uncsa um unc school of the arts and yeah it's going very well my next semester is coming up starting next week which is crazy i'm moving this saturday or no what is it i'm moving in on monday leaving on saturday so uh, that's a process i still have not packed anything into any suitcases it's all just on my floor so it's fine it's fine but i am very much looking forward to this next semester and uh, learning more things i'm excited for my classes and to create um another prop from another prop project which you guys will see the process of just like you did with my scepter and yeah i'm just very excited for the future thank you for asking <laughs> uh yeah i really love my major so much so far um i just love that i'm able to work in such a niche area that i really really love and i'm passionate about and i don't have to do like i mean yeah i don't have to do like stuff that's irrelevant i mean there is some things that are kind of irrelevant but it's important for the basics of learning but yeah so that is what i am studying right now all right next question from sunspills.jpg when and why did you start drawing great question i've always wanted to tell this story actually so this is uh, a very fun story, I think. <laughs> so I started drawing um, in eighth grade in middle school, and how I discovered drawing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna paint the picture for you. I'm gonna paint the picture. So there I was. <laughs> this is so dramatic. There I was, coming home from school one day, and watching very important Jaden Animations YouTube channel. I used to be obsessed with her videos so much. I would watch them like all the time, binge watch them. Oh my god, I love I loved her videos. I still watch them from time to time, not as much as I do now, but oh yes, so good. So I was obsessed with their videos and I was watching it one time in my like in our guest room or whatever. And I was like, you know what? I wanna try drawing stuff in her style because I love her cartoon style. And so then I got a little composition notebook that I still have in that shelf over there that will maybe be seen soon sometime and my trusty pencil which i have i want to show y'all i still have it here this pencil is very near and dear to my heart how do i still have it? i don't know how i still have this but that was the pencil i used and i was like you know i'm gonna draw in her style so i did i doodled all over the page of like mimicking her style and trying to do, make cute little drawings and such. Of course, they were all terrible, as you may expect, but they were very fun to do. And I remember I was like, I feel like I was like enlightened. <laughs> I was like, a piece of my brain was unlocked by her videos. And I was like, I love this so much. And so then I just sat there for like hours drawing and I was drawing like Pokemon, like anime, from Haikyuu, I was obsessed with Haikyuu, and I still am now. Um, drawing like Nishinoya, drawing Hinata, all of those people, and trying to like trace and just figure out how like anime style is done. I feel like most artists probably relate to starting off with um, anime and discovering through that, which is very interesting. Why, why is it that anime makes it all happen? I don't know. Anyways, so and yeah I was just drawing 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 and then I started to bring like sketchbook to school and I remember so vividly I was with my friend Alex and we would sit outside at recess and uh, draw together and then we were like creating scenarios of like who we would be dating or whatever it was very <laughs> it was very fun um, and, then I, and then I started creating like OCs oh boy <laughs> those were tragic i was also very like kind of emo not emo but just very like angsty emotional person so a lot of the stuff in my first sketchbook was like very like angsty kind of stuff <laughs> but we all good now and yeah so that was really how i started and i don't know why i started drawing i just thought it was fun oh i just remembered it was because there's this one girl who i was like very close friends with she was a grade above me and i always she had like her artist friends and she'd always be drawing and i was like i want to be like her i used i looked up to her so much 
and then i think that was why i started because i was like i want to be like her and draw cartoons too so yeah that was um the discovery of my passion for art thank you for the question <laughs> and last question by the lovely ollie claire what's something unrelated to visual arts that you get art inspiration from interesting interesting <laughs> Um, I would say probably the most is through like my experiences in life and like situations that happen like most of the stuff that I draw or paint is like I mean, most of the time I get inspiration from other artists but I feel like a lot of the time it's from experiences that I've had and stuff that I just want to like emulate like I'm trying to think a lot of the things that I have inspiration from are just like random or it's like people I admire or I also get a lot of inspiration from nature and like um national geographic stuff which i guess is, i don't know if that counts as visual art i don't i don't really know i would say i get the most inspiration from people like the people that i surround myself with and uh like my experiences that i have in my life because i don't know i think it's just fun to be able to create stuff based on what you experience so that is all for today's video i hope you enjoyed this little q a session this little chill sketch and chat um i hope you have a wonderful wonderful day don't forget to leave a comment like and subscribe for more content uh we should leave a comment if you're feeling ever so gracious and don't forget to follow my instagram at camel miles if you want to see more of my art i'll go ahead and let the video play out and i will see you guys in the next video Alrighty, i love y'all so much thank you again for 100 subscribers Woo! all right i love you i love you bye <laughs>